All right, so should you actually buy a 2017 5K 27 inch, that's a mouthful, iMac in 2023? We're gonna talk about it and I think you're gonna be surprised. All right, I just wanna set the video up from the very beginning. So this, this is gonna be part of a two-part series. I'm gonna try to convince you why you should buy this right now. That's the first video. And then subscribe because my next video will be the performance. I'm gonna show you real-world performance of this thing, and exactly how it performs. Not No benchmarks, performance, right? Now, if you watch my channel, you'll notice I have, usually I have a blue 24-inch uh, M1 iMac sitting right here, the blue one. I got this one now. This is my meat and potatoes computer, and I love this thing. It's a base model, 27-inch, 2017 5K iMac, but I made some adjustments. I boot off an external SSD, which I'll get into, and I have extra RAM in here, but I love this system. Now, I don't get paid by Apple to say this. I'm not getting paid by anybody or anything like that. This is my honest opinion where I review literally um, tons of different Apple stuff, including old stuff, new stuff, everything in between. So I don't want to lie to anybody. And before you beat me up on everything, I know people are going to say you're stupid for buying that old system and this and that and the other thing. I'm going to explain. Just hear me out for this video and then watch the performance next video and then make your comment if you don't think so because I want you to see what's going on here before you say anything. All right, and one thing coming up too, just stay tuned for this. There's one reason why this is recommended today in 2023, but I'm not gonna probably recommend it next year. And there's some reasons for that, which I'll show you in this video. So if you wanna know what that is, also stay tuned. All right, so who is this for, first of all? So let's take a step back. Why, why would anyone wanna buy this older computer, right? Well, first of all, if you're someone on a budget, and you want this experience of having a 5K screen, but you just don't realistically, you can't spend 1600 bucks on the uh, studio display, plus maybe something for a stand. You can't do that, and it's just out of your price range. But you still wanna be able to have a computer that once in its glory was between, I think, 2000 bucks and 3000 bucks, but now you can get it for a lot cheaper, and I'm gonna show you some examples coming up. If you're somebody that just wants that experience, I guarantee if you're doing any kind of web page viewing, YouTube viewing in 4K, it's beautiful on this thing. I mean, you can do video editing on this, it's beautiful. Photo editing, it's beautiful. The screen, it opens your eyes to everything. I mean, once you look at this, you look at photos that you've taken on your cell phone and it looks like they're completely different photos on a screen like this. Everything about this thing makes your experience of working with the computer better. So if you want that experience, you can get it for a lot cheaper. Now this isn't perfect, like I said, there's gonna be some things coming up I'm gonna tell you about. But overall, the experience as far as you get this for the screen, obviously the studio display is gonna cost, just the studio display with no computer is probably gonna cost three times as much as you can pick one of these up for right now. And that's the people that wanted this. And But even with all that said, people are gonna say, well, the OS is getting old, I'll get into that. They're gonna say, well, it doesn't perform right, I'll get into that in the next video, and I'm gonna give you kind of a hint this video. But overall, this thing does pretty much everything you want it to do, and it's a perfect system for anybody that wants just basic tasks and even some 4K editing and even other stuff that is a little more taxing, and I'll get into that as well. Now, the one caveat to this thing, too, is once you go to a 5K screen like this and you, you, you look at it and you use it, you can never go back, right? I can't look at a 1080p, and I'm not, like, stuck up or anything like that. It just hurts my eyes. I mean, I see all the pixels and everything. Once you get used to this, it's really, this is the one warning I have. Once you get used to a 5K screen, you're going to have to buy another one and another one and another one because you can't go backwards. It's just the, the law of physics out there. It's hard to do, right? So I'm kidding, right? But I mean, at the same time, it's very difficult. So keep that in mind. If you buy this, just be careful. All right, so when I bought my system, it was about 1,900 bucks. So it was expensive, right? But they've come down considerably. So for 1,900 bucks or 2,000, 2,500 bucks, you would never buy this right now in 2023. So right away, that's one caveat. You don't buy those for the, you're not, we're not paying that cost, right? A lot of people think you're gonna be paying that much, you're not, that's number one. Number two, the one thing I wanted to explain before I get into all the good stuff is, What's the bad thing on this thing? So the biggest you know, complaint or kind of people always say, well, this is the biggest problem is the OS compatibility. I'm actually using OS, I'm using Ventura right now in the system. Straight out Ventura, brand new OS that you can have, the newest OS, the most beautiful OS, it works perfect on this thing. No stuttering, no flaws, nothing like that. So you take that away with a grain of salt, however you wanna take it, but it, it has the newest one right now. It may not in the future have a new OS coming out for it, in the next couple years. That's why I probably don't recommend it buying it maybe next year. 
But this thing is going to be updated. Ventura will have security updates for quite a long time, and you're going to be able to pick this up for X amount, which I'm going to show you, and you're going to be able to sell it for X amount, and you're only going to spend a teeny little bit on this system, but you're going to get all the benefits right now because the thing works perfect. It has the newest OS right now, and you can do anything you want, and just including getting into Mac OS and looking at the beautiful environment that you're in with the screen and everything. So keep that in mind. That's who you are if you're going to buy this. You don't care about specs or you don't care about benchmarks and stuff like that. You care about the screen, the experience, and the price. All right, so how much is this thing? So if you're gonna buy it, let's take a look at my screen here in a second. This first one is gonna be from, I like it, it's Other World Computing, it's a great site, I'm not affiliated with them. If you go over here though, and you look at 719 bucks right now. Now this is gonna be a refurbished unit, and this one's actually quite an upgrade from the one I have right here. So the one that they're selling for 719 is an i7, it's got upgraded RAM, 16 gigs of RAM, and it's got a 256 gigabyte SSD. The SSD is key to make these things super fast. So there you go, this thing's 719, beautiful, price and it's about what is it almost maybe a third of what it was originally so there's one price example now as we go on the list you can see here's one actually for five it says from 549 this is going to be from mac of all trades this is basically the base model you can see here it's the 27 inch 3.4 gigahertz i5 instead of the i7 so this is the one i basically have now if you add the ram and the fusion drive so it's 16 gigs of ram and one one terabyte fusion drive which is your only choice here you're up to 624 still cheaper so now you're at 624 almost maybe a fourth of what that normally costs with the 16 gigs of ram so you're getting down cheaper cheaper yet and if you keep going down the list here, we're gonna see if you go to eBay, if you're, if you're brave enough to go ahead and buy stuff from eBay, you can find really good spec'd out ones with really good, you know, uh, is excellent condition it says, and you have to do your due diligence, and uh, 549. Now, I've seen these for 500, five to 600 bucks on eBay. So you're talking five to 600 bucks for a system that can do all of this. I mean, web pages, everything you see is beautiful, 4K editing, I mean, it's all just perfect on the screen, right? And it works very, very well. Now, what can you get? if you say like well that's not worth it I mean I, you can might as well get a Windows all-in-one and stuff well look at this one so this is a Dell it's 24 inches all-in-one i3 only 8 gigs of RAM 256 SSD 575 right so that's comparable isn't that comparable but you get basically Windows first of all if you want Windows but then you get a cheap plastic machine terrible keyboard 1080p screen probably a pretty bad screen bad viewing angles everything else not a screen like this where it's basically professional grade and that's the main difference. The keyboard here is worth 100 bucks just alone. These are very nice keyboards. Over there, you're gonna get some cheap plastic thing. So you gotta just weigh, like what can you get anyway? If you're not gonna get this, what else can you get for the money? And there's not that many choices out there that are great. Um, I mean, there's gonna be some Ryzen 3s and stuff like that you could probably pick up if you're gonna go Windows, but nothing is, is built like this quality and how it looks and the aluminum and everything like that. I mean, granted, these are gonna be refurbished when you get them for that cost, because they're not really making them anymore, but at the end of the day, you can find a ton of good ones out there, and they're all, you know, usually pretty good performing. All right, so let's really quickly, let's go through this. So people that say I'm crazy for recommending this, what are the reasons I recommend this for? Number one, basically the screen, I went through that a million times, that's the biggest thing here is the screen. Number two, you can also still upgrade to the newest OS, at least for the time being, and you're gonna get many, many years of security updates. That's, that's huge, and that's gonna be number two. Number three, performance, and I wanna talk about this really quickly. Um, I know I'm speeding up here. I'm gonna show you this in the next video, but I want you to know that I do all my editing on this. I don't even use my M1 over there. Um, I basically do all my editing. I've done over 500 YouTube 4K videos with this machine. I do everything from web design, photo editing, you name it. The thing never stutters, it loads in minutes. I'm gonna show you all that in the next video. It does everything you want it to do. So the performance wise, if this thing could be upgraded with the OS, this thing would be viable for probably the next 10 years. I mean, it's that good and that fast. There's literally no stuttering. It's a better experience than even sometimes my M1s. I mean, I do have upgraded RAM um, and stuff like that in here, so you gotta take that with a grain of salt. All right, number four is gonna be basically ports, and you get the, obviously the keyboard and stuff, but the ports in the back are really good in this system. They're not like the newer systems, so you get a lot of good ports on them. That all comes included. And then finally, you know, you, in two or three years, let's say, this is the plan. So you buy this in 2023, in two to three years, you sell this for about three to 350. People will buy this, I'll tell you why. Again, the screen. And because people know how to use something like Open Core, they'll basically be able to upgrade the OS some way, kind of on the backside, there's ways to do. You can get the upgraded. If, you can upgrade the OS if you don't 
if you, you know, to the newest one, even if it can't do it with some software. And people that want to buy these will buy them for that reason. And that's the number one reason. You're only going to be spending like two or 300 bucks on these maximum when you sell these in a couple years. And you're going to get this incredible experience. All right, so you got the people out there that are still going to be haters. They're going to say it's stupid, right? But from my standpoint, I can do video editing on it. I can do numbers. I can do pages. I can do anything that any other M1 system, and I have a number of them, can do. Plus, I have, I mean, just what I want to talk about is I have actually booted off an external SSD sitting right over here. I don't know if you can see that. I have a video on that way back. You can go ahead and look at that. I boot off an SSD right here. So I hooked it into here. I boot right off that SSD. Inside, I had a Fusion drive. I did, you know, one terabyte Fusion drive, which is pretty fast, but I wanted a faster drive. So I boot off an external SSD and I upgraded this. You can open this system up. This is the last iMac or last probably Mac ever that you can upgrade the RAM on. You flip open the back on here. You can, I'm not going to show you, but there's a little compartment. Look it up and you can put in, I think, up to 120 gigabytes of RAM in this system. I only have 24 and this thing just flies. It's amazing. So you can imagine if I went up to 64 or something, how much faster this thing would be. So, I mean, basically, if it does everything I want it to do, it runs the newest OS, it's got the best screen in the industry, better than any Windows system out there that you can buy for the money, even probably buy in general. You can't even buy a screen this nice except for the studio display. Why in the world wouldn't you buy this thing in 2023, right? Give me some, I want people to give me real reasons. The OS is one of them. There'll be updates on security, I understand that. But what else is there? I mean, just because you think that it's old, I mean, the thing runs perfectly and it runs very fast. You just want to make sure you have an SSD in there and then you can upgrade the RAM as you need to see fit. But even at eight gigs of RAM, this thing was fast. It loads in about 25, 30 seconds. And I'm going to show you all these examples in my next video just to kind of prove it to you why you would buy one of these things. So at the end of the day, I'm not trying to sell again. I, I'm just doing this for fun. I mean, you buy what you want to buy. The M1 is a beautiful system. I have one over there. You see it usually sitting right here and I use it a lot, right? But this is what I do all my work on, including video editing. I do everything on here. Um, and I don't know why. Maybe it's the size of the screen. Maybe it's just a little bit better resolution, even though I think it's the same PPI, so it's not. But at the end of the day, it's just something that I feel comfortable with and I don't get any type of feedback coming negatively when I use it. And that's why I choose it. So I just want to tell people, like, don't be afraid to try these things. I mean, what's the investment? You're spending 550 bucks on this thing instead of buying a windows machine you somehow you don't like it you sell it for 450 or 500 the next week or next month or something if you like it you sell it in two or three years from now for 350 what's the big risk there a couple hundred bucks only what can you get for a couple hundred bucks a set of earbuds or something so you got to take this this is an amazing deal right now and they're not going to be around like this i mean as they get older they're going to be less and less you know viable as far as computers but this one right now is super viable. It's super perfect for most people. And I say pick one up and I'm going to prove it in the next video. So subscribe if you can do that. And we'll talk to you soon in the next one. Peace.